welcome to another episode of our weekly devotion with yours truly. And so this, uh, because this was uh, Father's Day weekend, I just want to come in and take this opportunity to wish all super dads out there happy Father's Day. I hope you enjoy your day with your family. And well, children have a knack to call on to their mom first before they call on to their dad. So, you know, every time they have a need, they call, Mommy, can I have this? Mommy, can I have that? Mommy, can I have that? And once in the first, you know, in the once in the blue moon, they call, Hey, Dad. And the dad was happy. I'm needed. Yes, can I help you? Then they will ask, Where's Mommy? <laughs> now, in spite of this, I want to tell you, fathers, you are important. These are some of the facts about people who grew up not having a father. In the US alone, 23.9% of children live absent of their biological father. Fatherless children represent 63% of teen suicides. Fatherless children represent 70% of juveniles in state institution. Fatherless children represent 71% of high school dropouts. Ooh. Fatherless children represent 75% of children in chemical abuse centers. Fatherless children, my goodness, represent 80% of rapists. Fatherless children represent 85% of youth in prison. And finally, fatherless children re represent 90% of homeless and runaway children. Fathers, you are important. And this is one of the most important one of the most important things a father could do among other things would be to speak life into your children's life speaking life means you can give them the power and, and you, you know as proverbs chapter 8 verse 21 says the tongue has the power of life and death you know you can bring them up you can raise them up or you can tear them down all by your tongue there's power in our words. We have to speak life to our children if we want them to grow up to become successful adults. There's a story in, the, in Genesis chapter 35 about Jacob and his wife, Rachel. As they were traveling, Rachel went into a labor pain, but there's still some distance away. So her labor pain uh, was very intense. And after a hard delivery, the midwife finally exclaimed, don't be afraid, you have given birth to another son you have another son so altogether Jacob has 12 boys and one of those was Joseph yeah and this was the youngest and Rachel unfortunately uh, you know suffered severely from the childbirth and she was about to die very unfortunate but with her last breath she named the baby Ben Oni which means son of my sorrow because because I gave birth to this boy, I have to die and therefore she named him son of my sorrow. But the father, Jacob, wanted to have none of it. He, he then changed his, his son's name from Ben only to Ben Jamin. Ben Jamin means son of my right hand. That means he placed this boy in spite of the fact that, you know, his wife died you know, when she gave birth to this son, but yet he wants to speak life into this son. No way that my son is going to be grow, going to grow up to be called son of my sorrow. He's going to be called son of my right hand. That means he's going to be recognized as my beloved. The descendants of Benjamin are people like Ehud, the very one of the very first judges of Israel. And then King Saul, the first king of Israel was a Benjamite. And Queen Esther was a Benjamite too. And the Apostle Paul was also a descendant of Benjamin. You see, all these people rise up because the father spoke life to him in spite of the fact that he, when he was born, you know, uh, his mom had to suffer and die. How do we speak life to our children? Speak hope, not hopelessness, but hope food speak encouragement to your children you know help them to realize their dream encourage them don't tear their dream don't discourage them and affirm them they they need affirmation from us and the same and when uh when we speak live we speak words of love and kindness to them and when we speak all these 
powerful life speaking uh, words that will bring healing into their lives. They will be injured somewhere, they will be hurt as as they progress, as they live uh, their life, but they know that there's always hope, there's always encouragement, there's always affirmation, there's always loving kindness because these were spoken into their lives and so they can grow up to become more measured, they're able to regulate their emotions, they're able to overcome whatever challenges that they may have. So fathers, hey, have a good week and uh, may you continue to be that strong influence to your children's life. Now, if you're not a father, you're not a, uh, you're not married and you, uh, you know, but in your own relationship, whatever you are, whether you are female, you're male, if you are, if you're into a relationship, remember, it is also critical that you speak life into the, into your partner's life. Okay. So, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. Everybody have a great week ahead. So this week, open your eyes and open your mouth to speak life. Amen. God bless you.